as you probably gathered, main focus today is about Miano machines and a great place to come, or a must place to come, is Brighton Precision Engineering. Phil, thanks for having us along. How many Miano machines have you got? We've got seven. Seven, and more on the At way? At the minute, yeah, we've got two more coming. One in April and one in September, October. Okay, and it's a great story about the whole citizen support and the machines you've got. But just a quick potted history of the company. When did you start? The uh, company was started in 1982 by my father and his partner, Brian and Ken, where yep. the name Brian Ken come from. Uh, yeah, great success story and, and great example of investment to keep ahead because how many machines have you got now? Uh, we've got about 53 now. 53, wow, so impressive stuff. Now. This is also a great story of persistence because who looks after you guys from Citizen? Uh, a guy called Dave Whitworth. A guy, yeah, had to, didn't have to think about that. Now, <laughs> how long did it take to sell the first machine to you guys? Uh, well, he sold the first machine back in the back in the 80s and then he had to wait another 20 years for the next right. one. So God love him, he came in here every year without <laughs> fail and he, he got his rewards in the end. But the persistence did pay off. Now, one of the reasons you bought your first Miano was this component you've got in your hand. If you could yeah. talk me through, well, the machining process on this, please. Yeah, well, we brought it for this component because it's quite complex, even though it looks quite a simple part. Yeah. There's a lot of deburning and there's etching on the, on the part as well. So we went to Citizen Miano and they said, yeah, we can do it. So there's a process internally where we deburr the and inside yeah, here's, there, here's all of the got, machine. You prepared earlier for us, that's brilliant. So, yeah, and you see the service finishes, it's got to be consistent. Yep. So, and it's high volume as well. Because so. you got, I mean, p people look at, fixed head side air machines they say yeah you can do what you know 100 off 200 off but that's not what you're about you're about big batch runs yeah we're really about high, high volume production we are that's what we're okay. built for so what the BNE I mean you've got seven BNE 51s yeah why well we like the BNEs because we've got they've got a lot of versatility in there you can cut three places at once right. we find the Mitsubishi control at the back end very very powerful you can do the run through when you're setting up with the hand wheel. It's just a, it's a good it's a good machine. Right. So in the actual working envelope, you got the, so the B and E fifty one twin spindle twin turret. Yeah. Okay. And it enables you to do really complex parts. Yeah, really complex, high precision, high volume, and high speed basically. Yeah. And that's how that's one of the things that keeps you competitive because it's not just about price with you guys. No, it's not. It's all about quality, and it's all about how quick we can produce them and repeat that quality as well. Right, and lead, lead times is one of the key points? Yeah, lead times. Uh, we're anything from two weeks to, to four weeks on our lead time at the minute, and that's always the same. Right. We try and win a lot of work on lead time. Sometimes we, we won work one day, and by the next day we're delivering the same day. Right, and these machines enable you to do that? Yeah, they are, yeah. Okay, so you alluded to, in the actual working envelope, twin spindle, twin turret. Yeah. How does that, how does that help you guys, though? Uh, the twin spindle twin turret means we can cut three places at once. So we have one turret working on the back end, yep. one turret working on the front end. And then if we really need to push it, if there's complex parts, we can have all three, all three uh, parts of the machine at the same time. Right, so essentially getting the cycle times down, making yeah, you more competitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And these machines, powerful, rigid? Yeah, very rigid, yeah. Okay. For the size of parts that we do on there, they're perfect. They are exactly what we need. Right, and you alluded in terms of Mitsubishi controls, though, very easy to use and super powerful. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, it was a little bit harder first for the guys to understand it. Right. But we sent them on uh, another week's training, a bit of advanced training, right. and they come back to totally different people and they're doing really well now. All right, so they were able to use the machines fairly well, but then that extra bit of training, they could realise their full potential. Well, that's it, you're using it to its full potential now. We went there first yeah. and then we went through a year of a learning curve, but after that year, the guys are flying and we bought six in the last three years. Right, six, so Dave's persisted, 20, one machine in 20 years and six in the last three. Yeah, yeah. But that also ties in with your sales and support. I mean, I'm sure, how has that been? Yeah, it's been really good. Obviously with COVID happening last year, it was a bit of a strange year. Yeah. But fortunately we were able to help out Mercedes AMG. So we had all the Mianos running on them parts. Yeah. So uh, yeah, no, it's been really good. And I'm assuming Mercedes AMG, they want high precision, short lead times, oh, everything. Yeah, without fail, without fail. So I'm assuming running 24 seven on these machines. Yeah, 24 hours, seven days a week, yeah. Now I'm gonna throw this in there. How, how do they hold their tolerances? Yeah, it's good, yeah. Well, we've got some in here, 24 hours, seven, 24 hours, seven, day, <laughs> seven days a week. But yeah, it's all fine. All good. And then one, one thing notes as well, on the, normally when you, when you see your fixed head machines, it's normally a bar loader, so one, 1.5 meter. Yeah, yeah. But you've gone a full three meter bar feeder. Yeah. We, 
It's a three metre bar feed has worked for us because it takes the pressure off the guy then loading the material in all the time. So, it just, I'll be honest, it's just like a historical thing. We've always done it. We've always yeah. bought three metres. And we never have any problems buying three metres. So, we've got less bar ends, less waste. So, it works for us. Yeah. There you go. Fantastic overview of Brighton and your Miano b and e Just quickly though, you've got two more machines on the way? Yes, we have. Yeah, we've got landing in April and one landing in September. The one in September is the brand new double Y on it. Oh, so, so it's got Y axis on both turrets? Yeah, yeah. So we're excited to get that one. But oh. we couldn't wait, so we had to get one for April as well. All oh, right, you couldn't wait. We had to get yeah, another, yeah. another B&E 51. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Great story. Thanks ever so much. That's guys at Brighton Engineering up in Liverpool.